Hey Health Nation, how are you doing? This is OCK Fitness And uh, today I want to talk about smelling people at the gym Now I just came from the gym a couple of hours ago, you know And I had to leave abruptly because of uh, this funky smell Now I, you know, like I said, I was there for four hours For the first two, three hours, you know There wasn't a, uh, this smell And uh for some reason, I couldn't really tell whether it was just two guys working out next to me. You know, uh, it's a really uh, small gym, so if someone's fart from one end, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to smell it at the other end. But uh, anyway, I have a real big problem with people coming to the gym smelling like shit. I mean, I understand that you may have workout clothes, but... When you get home, at least spray them bitches with some Lysol or something. Some Clorox disinfectant spray. But, you know, like I said, it was hard to really tell whether it was one of these two guys that for some reason, no matter what I was working on, always seemed to be, you know, like right there next to me. That's one thing that I hate. When I'm in a gym and I'm in a zone, you know, I don't want people around me or people getting in the way, you know. If I'm on one machine, be it a machine or two over, you know, don't come near, don't come near me. I hate that shit. And especially if you smell like shit, you know, regardless of whether it was one of these two guys or not or both of them, but come on, man. The gym, you know, like I said, it's a really small gym, you know, once you get in. You know, you come in the front door, it seems like you're at the at the back where they have their little uh, cardio sessions or whatever. You know, it has, you know, complete equipment, but it's just too small. And like I said, if you fart on one end, I'm pretty sure people will be able to smell it at the other end. Now, it could have been some menstruation. It started smelling like that, you know, but I just couldn't take it anymore. I was there, you know, I started off with some, you know, 15 minutes of cardio, walking, brisk walk, some run, and then walking. And then after that, I got into my leg routine, some leg extensions, leg curls, squats, leg presses, you know, did some abs. And uh, after that, I got into some triceps, triceps pushdowns, dumb triceps uh, push-ups. With a dumbbell uh, behind my head and, and, and pressing up. And, you know, I wanted to get a little bit of back end, you know. I got into uh, some back end. I just couldn't take the smell anymore. I just had to leave. The shit was really disturbing, you know. It smelled like ass, shit, piss, you know, dry musk. And like I said, even, you know, maybe even PMS. There wasn't really that many people there or even... That many females, well, the uh, the the uh, people at the front desk are females, but like I said, it was, ugh, please, man, not even please. If you come to the fucking gym, I would rather have you, you know, smell like some axe or something, not ass, ah, <laughs> axe deodorant spray, you know, spray the, as much as I hate that smell. Itself, I would rather have you smelling like that than some whatever the fuck that smell was. You know, don't come to the gym smelling like that. You're going to make people like me leave. And especially when it's a really small gym. Now, I don't really, you know, go to the gym like that because I have a little setup at home. Uh, a, a bench, uh, some curls, curl balls, some uh, dumbbell, uh, adjust adjustable dumbbells. So I really tend to work out at home, and for this specific reason, or at least one, the fucking smell, man. It's a small gym. Come to the gym smelling like, not ass or shit or piss or PMS. Come on, man. Cut it out.